the fact is to attract young people for the research field because discoveries are made by young people. pushing the frontiers, uh, we are, uh, so to say, entering uncharted regions all the time. We're not dealing with things that we already know and see how they combine. We're really finding completely new things and we don't know what laws guide them, what, what forces they are subject to. So uh, in that sense, we need all the time new instrumentation and we, can, we cannot find this instrumentation buying them anywhere. We have to make them ourselves. Develop them and make them. And they must be new. They must reach further. So this is why we have a lot of technical development. We have a lot of running experiments and analyzing data. And uh, a lot of that letter work is done by the research students. And this, of course, as a training for research students to participate in inter international collaboration. Uh, and go down to CERN and run the experiments every now and then in shifts because it's running all the time uh, is quite an experience. In order to run these experiments, they are huge. They involve many scientists. And in fact, my experiment called Atlas at CERN, we are 3,000 scientists, 2,000 of which are already have a senior people, PhDs, and 1,000 which are PhD students. If you are interested and committed to uh, participate in the development of um, our society through its uh, technological development. And uh, if you think about it, um, technology development is influencing nearly all aspects of our society or is behind much of um, what changes over time. Let me just take the examples of World Wide Web. Uh, has an enormous impact on culture and political life as of today. Um, you can take the development of uh, microelectronics, which uh, you find uh, everywhere now in, in your phone, in your camera, etc. This it has a strong coupling to the development of our society, and it is very stimulating and um, a great privilege to be able to take part in this uh, uh, development of our culture and society through the development of technology which the driving force of technology is science, physics in particular. You can also be interested in the uh, deeper philosophical questions of how things in the, in the physical world hang together, how phenomena out in macrocosmos and deep down in microcosmos hang together. Um, we have the atomic world and the nuclear world and the particle physics world and they all follow quantum mechanics. There is some, a generality, a general aspect of science that you find nowhere else in society. And this has a, a philosophical charm, if you like, which is, at least for me, difficult to resist and it attracts young people. In a scientific discussion, you are uh, like Socrates, not trying to convince that you are right. This is not the goal to show that you are right, although technically the discussion must be that way. But the goal is to understand more, to arrive at a common understanding together, not to, so to say, destroy the other, or the other person and triumph yourself. The goal is to find a common understanding and a further understanding of the question that you addressed. And if any of these aspects I spoke of attracts you, I would like to welcome you to study at Uppsala University, which has a broad spectrum of uh, different physical scientists represented in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. And uh, we are welcoming young people here to join our ranks in the endeavor that I just spoke of. Welcome to Uppsala University.